Hi everyone, it's Peter here, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's magic edition of the screencast, I'll be going through a scroll magic demo, which is in the making. I'll introduce the jQuery for complete beginners series. And then we'll look at the website deconstructions project, which is also in the makings. And at the end of it, we'll deconstruct the lampensdesign.com cool scrolling website. Okay, so stay tuned till the end of it, because right at the end, there's also one more bonus magic. <laughs> so let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to talk about today is the introduction of jQuery for complete beginners. So if you are a complete beginner in JavaScript and uh, jQuery coding, then um, I'm releasing a couple blog posts and articles going through the step by step or exactly what you need to know before you can start using uh, GreenSock and uh, scroll magic because a lot of people ask me to uh, how to start with scroll magic and uh, yeah if you never did any J jQuery or JavaScript development then you'll be probably struggling to understand the syntax so I just walk you through from the real beginning to uh, more advanced things and uh, it's a step-by-step -step process, so go through all four of these articles and uh, you should be able then to start with, uh, with GreenSock or Score Magic, And you should be then able to create a website similar to the one we'll be deconstructing later today in the video. So I'm covering the basics of JavaScript or jQuery, starting from uh, just uh, how to select the right elements on the page and uh, what are the data types in JavaScript. Then we're covering click and hover states and uh, toggle classes, which is a very, very common uh, function when it comes to triggering animations and uh, CSS3 animations. And then we also talk about how to debug your code in console, how to print values in the console on a scroll and uh, resize, Windows resize. And in the coming, uh, in the upcoming blog post, there will be also how to write functions, how to nest functions, how to loop through data. And uh, that's basically all you need to know before you can start working with uh, scroll magic or GreenSock. So if you brand new to JavaScript, uh, this series is uh, for you. The other thing I'm very excited about is my new scroll magic demo, which I call the magic with scroll magic. What else can you come up with when when you're working with scroll magic. So uh, here is a short preview. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It would ruin the experience. So this one, when you scroll down, something magic happens. Okay. So as I said, it's a little magic with the cards and I'm, I'm not going to reveal more than this, but uh, stay tuned for the full demo coming to my blog very soon. One more thing I'm super excited about, and that is Website Deconstructions, my new project, which will be a separate side to my blog, and I'll be deconstructing the best websites in the world. I'll be looking at the CSS, HTML, JavaScript, or jQuery. On uh, I'll be looking at the plugins they used. I'll be looking at the structure, how the page was put together, and deconstructing all the CSS uh, effects and animations. This is my preferred method of learning new things. So I'll, I'm looking always at the latest trends and how they are put together, how they are created. And uh, I'm deconstructing all the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So I decided to create a website dedicated just to that so everyone else can learn from it as well. So if you are new to web development, stay in touch for the website deconstructions launch. I'm sure you will learn something from it as well because on one project, you might understand just one line of code. On the next one, you learn something and you might understand two lines of code and so on. And before you know it, you can build websites like that as well. So stay in touch for the launch date. I'm not going to reveal it just yet, but uh, subscribe to my email newsletter and you're not going to miss it out. And if you are experienced designer or developer and want to contribute to that website and write your own deconstructions, put your name out there, then uh, get in touch on Twitter or email and uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, include you on the team because more people contributing, the more people will learn from it as well. So I'm looking forward to hear from you. 
And speaking of deconstructions, let's get to today's deconstruction, which is the lampensdesign.com. So we look at how this page was put together. As you can see, there's a cool parallax effect on the header with the animation of the Eiffel Tower and the clouds and plenty of other little animations on hover or as you scroll down the page. So the site is using scroll magic and obviously green sock uh, behind the scenes. It's a very, very cool creative uh, use of the scrolling animations. And also these previews, these thumbnails, uh, like the effect, how it fades out the black and white image and fades into the colored one, which makes like a blurry effect as well. So very, very cool. Check it out and we'll quickly have a look how it was put together, what sort of functions are running behind the scenes and plugins. So similar things we'll be going through in the website deconstructions on the new project. Okay, so let's have a look under the hood. So when we inspect the element, we can find the JavaScript file. Or oh, let's first have a look which files are loading so we can have a look which plugins are used. So as you can see, is a jQuery HTML5 loader for the preloading. And then we've got Tween Max, which is the GreenSock plugin, CSS plugin as well, which is the GreenSock add-on, Scroll2 plugin as well, and a couple others. Then Scroll Magic Debug and Scroll Magic Core. And then in the functions uh, JS is the code itself for the site. So let's open it in a new browser and copy it so we can see the syntax. So we're gonna copy it to Sublime Text so we can see the color coding here as well. And uh, as you can see, it's broken down into a couple functions and each function is happening at a different time as you scroll down the page. So if we would deconstruct the first animation where the Eiffel Tower is fading in and then the clouds as well. So we inspect that element and we'll get the class of that container. As you can see, it's a div ID illustration underscore friends. And then there is a couple of divs nested inside of it. They are all positioned absolute within the parent container. Position absolute, bottom zero. And then each of them individually has the left offset uh, set different and margin left to bring it up uh, to the right spot. Okay, each of the nested divs has also a background image. So there is no SVGs or anything like that on the project. It's all simple PNGs. So when you open that in a new tab, you'll see that that should be a shape of friends. My computer is extremely slow today. Not sure what's happening. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, computer. Cool. So this is the shape uh, as a PNG, transparent PNG. And now let's have a look at the code. The first part of the JavaScript file is this smooth scroll function, which basically means that when you scroll down the page, it actually scrolls down smoother than the default behavior. So when you scroll down and release the mouse wheel, then it actually scrolls down as a smooth scrolling instead of a default one. Okay, so that is, this is an example of CodePen doing exactly the same thing. So explore that one. I'll leave that in the show notes uh, on my blog. And to find the introduction animation, we have to scroll down the page. This is the illustrations function. So that's where all the illustrations happening for each three illustrations. So there is a couple of them on the page. You've got the first one, which is friends. And then there is another one. Luxembourg and I think the last one was Belgium. Belgium. Okay, so these uh, three are using the same function. And as you can see at the top, there is a few variables declared. This is selecting all the divs inside of the illustration container and getting the length, uh, getting the number of them. Then uh, there is a delay timing and two ease options. And they are then run into a set timeout function. So that gives a hundred milliseconds delay between uh, each of the animations. And so this is the animation in 
illustration and we're looking at each of the div but selecting deselecting the cloud and country name and this is the twin which makes everything rotate to zero and opacity one with the default ease is uh, one or the first ease and starting at visibility visible okay so this is the first animation in then there is another animation which is just for the cloud so same thing we're finding the diff dot cloud and uh, that one is scaled from three to one and uh, with a slight delay okay and at the end of it with 100 uh, with a one second delay there is a illustration diff country animation same thing it goes to the opacity one okay from the left so yeah these three twins are actually controlling the animation in for each of the sections and we passing in the illustration name so france belgium or luxembourg and the action it's either start or the end don't worry too much about the code if it doesn't make sense just wanted to give you some insight how it was put together and i'll be creating more green sock and scroll magic demos in the future so stay tuned on the blog and speaking of magic <laughs> here is the last one subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye